We're really pleased to tell you that the Beacon has reopened during August. Over the lockdown period, we had to change the way that we worked. We weren't allowed to have the Beacon open um, due to the obvious restrictions that were in place in the city centre. And over the lockdown period, we changed the way that we worked. We worked with our partners, reach out to the community and Church of the Apostle in Miles Platin to help um, the council to feed all the people who've been housed in the hotels across the city centre. Over the lockdown period, we cooked over 40,000 meals to help those in that temporary accommodation. In addition, we partnered with Feed My City to provide food to those who didn't make it into the hotels or just couldn't cope uh, inside the hotels. And then we transitioned to uh, providing outreach every breakfast um, throughout the week um, to really get to know those who are still rough sleeping in the city centre. Since lockdown ended, we've worked really hard to make the Beacon a COVID secure environment so that we can reopen safely for our guests, for our volunteers and for our staff. We've changed the way that we work uh, and one of the biggest changes that you would notice is the fact that it is no longer a drop-in centre. We're now uh, calling the Beacon a support centre so we can work closely with a smaller group of people rather than having the big uh, crowds of people come in uh, to get food and drink. We're now operating um, with two people at a time uh, and with engagement workers in the centre who can work with people with homeless assessments, benefit claims, accessing bank accounts, getting into accommodation and moving away from the streets. Alongside that, we'll still offer our guests the very basics of what Barnabas has always been about. You'll be able to get a brew, uh, a takeaway breakfast, clothing and a shower. Still really important for those people who are still rough sleeping on the streets. It's been a tough process. We've had to invest in new ways of working and new systems in the building. Uh, we no longer have an open door policy. We have an entry system with a camera and an intercom. We have to take temperatures as people arrive uh, and all our guests now have the access to a hand washing station just inside the beacon door. They have to walk through the building to wash their hands, just making everything safer and secure uh, for them and for our staff and volunteers. And then at each station we have Perspex screens um, so that uh, engagement workers can work closely with our um, guests in a most uh, COVID secure way. Sadly, we're really expecting to be much busier as the economic fallout of the pandemic begins to bite. We're expecting more people to experience homelessness, a rise in poverty, um, a rise in evictions um, as the law changes in the coming months. So as a result, um, we know we're going to need everybody's help and support to be able to um, give the best care to those who come to us for the services that they need. Um, as the coronavirus um, pandemic um, moves forward, um, we're hopeful as we understand it better that we'll be able to offer more services, recovery groups, um, activities in the afternoon uh, and working closely with some of our guests who've moved off the streets but we want to help them stay off the streets. We're so excited to be back in the Beacon and be able to welcome our guests into the building and we're so grateful for everybody's support right across Greater Manchester who've helped us get this far, help us to support people through the lockdown and to reopen the Beacon as we are. And we're really hopeful that as we go forward, we can help people in this more in-depth, long-term way. And we can't do that without your support. So thank you to everybody who's volunteered, given their time and given financially to everything that we're doing here at Barnabas.